Okay, welcome back to another video from My Random Hobbies and today we're going back about four years to a hobby that I picked up um, which is soap carving. So, let's get started. Okay, so today we're going to be looking at soap carving and this is a hobby that I got into as part of a New Year's challenge for myself back in 2017. So I started off doing my usual research on YouTube uh, and Google and having a look at what people were doing before deciding on how I was going to tackle the hobby. And I decided that I would do 100 days of soap carving. I actually set out to do 365 days, but after 100 days, um, I thought that was about right. I was about there and I'll show you the carving that I did after a hundred days towards the end um, because I clearly had got to a point where actually it was taking an hour or so a day to do some of the carvings and so I, I knocked it on the head for the challenge. However, I still occasionally do pick up a bar of soap and do some sort of similar relief carving um, which is one of the ways I started out so I'm going to show you that today uh, and how you can accomplish this um, so yeah so let's get into it so first of all I'm going to talk about soap I know that seems like a random thing to do but you can buy bars of soap and generally speaking I found that most bars of soap react in a similar way however some are definitely more crumbly than others which is no good for this what I found actually is Tesco's own variety they do like a little four pack I think for a pound 20 um, so 30p a bar uh, is is good and usually what I normally would do with a bar of soap like this uh, is I would split it down the middle so that I have two uh, faces to carve on uh, obviously you can do it on both sides anyway uh, but that, that just gives you a little bit more room to play with and again for the smaller carvings I've even chopped the bar of soap into three this way so that I've got more to play with but for, for 30p a bar of soap um, and also for the, the ability to carve I would say the Tesco variety is, is is one of the better soaps that I have found you also will need a sharp knife now you could do it with a sort of general kitchen knife but I've went and bought one of these little craft knives um, which do the job it's a sort of fine blade and it really helps with carving some of the smaller detail. As I got into the carving, I also did then purchase uh, a set of tools uh, that would also get, just, just give me a slightly different ability to carve different things and create holes, etc. Um, and that was a wax carving kit uh, that I purchased for, for really next to nothing. I think about a five pound, I think it was on eBay. So when we're going to do relief carving uh, today, we're going to have a go at producing the flower with, with the leaves. Uh, and again, it looks more complicated than it actually is. It's basically circles and um, sort of hemispheres, really, uh, sort of half circles. So with our knife, I'm going to, in the middle, I'm just going to create a circle. So I'm just going to draw a small circle with a tip of my knife and I'm probably going in I don't know that's not very far at all is it maybe about three or four millimeters in maybe at the most and I've created a circle and then to give a little bit of definition to that circle I'm then going to come in at an angle so I'm going to try to do, try to show you I'm coming in at an angle there um, to the to the cut and I'm cutting away the bit around the outside of that circle. So again, I'm probably coming back from the circle about two millimeters. I've just got to drop that into the bin. And you can see there that I'm just cutting away a little bit, a relief, so an angle from that circle. I'm just going to go all the way around there. Okay. So I've got a circle that stands a little bit proud now. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to the center circle. I'm going to cut back the way as well. So I've also angled it this way this time. And I'm just going to go around the edge, giving it a sort of a almost a, a, 
a more rounded edge to that circle. So it almost ends up like a dome effect in the middle. There, we can sort of see a dome. Then I'm gonna split the middle into four. So I'm gonna do almost like quarters curving round. You can't pick that up yet. I'm just gonna go around, so almost like from 12 to three, three to six in a curve, six to nine, and then nine to 12, creating almost like a diamond shape in the middle with curves. And then again, I'm gonna back cut that. So I'm going to cut angular shapes back into that to make the edges stand proud. So just as I did with the first circle uh, where I did my curve, I'm gonna angle cut into that to take away now again, what you'll find, depending on how brittle your soap is, and I think this soap is quite old, um, it's a bit brittle. So I've actually lost one of my one of my petals here, but it's not to worry because once we finish the whole effect, um, you know, nature's not perfect either, so it should look okay. So we're now going to cut petals around. So just as you would draw a petal as a child. Uh, sort of petals around the center of a, a flower. You're going to do that with your knife and I'm going to just draw my petals and I usually aim for about five or six petals. Uh, so like that and I'm just going to keep going round. So I'm just going to do that very quickly. Okay. If I get four, I get four. If I get five, I get five. If I get six, I get six. Um, you just got to kind of gauge it really and again nature's not perfect so if it doesn't quite look perfect it doesn't really matter at this stage and then again what I'm coming going to do is I'm going to come in at an angle and just undercut the back of that petal okay so I'm going to sweep around that petal not cutting into the petal itself but just the down to the cut that I made and what this does is, again, it makes the petal stand proud of the relief. And it also provides the next curve for your next petal that you're going to do. So we're going to continue to do rows of petals. So here I've got my first row of petals. And you can see they're starting to stand proud. What I'm now going to do is I'm going to come again from probably about the center of a petal here and do a circle around to create the next petal. You can see that there. And then from there, I'm going to come round and round again. So I'm creating another layer of petals. I'm going to stop the video for now. I'm going to continue with that and I'll show you how I'm getting on in a moment. Okay, so I've gone round and I've done another two rows here. Um, and this is fine. You can leave it like this. You can trim away the excess soap to sort of make it flatter looking around the flower. But I like to add in uh, some leaves as well, just to make it look a little bit more decorative. So again, what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to drag my knife down to a corner to make one side of the leaf and then to make the other side of the leaf. And then if, just like I did with the petals, I'm going to undercut the back of that line by using an angled knife to come in to that cut, just to make the leaf stand proud of this, the bar of soap. So again, I'm cutting in. And if I don't go quite far enough with my blade, I just go back again and cut in a bit further so that hopefully that bit pings off. I'm having trouble with this bit. Clearly not, oh, there we go, got rid of it. So we've created the leaf standing proud. And then again, it's just a matter of making some simple V cuts now to create the leaf pattern. So I'm gonna come in at a very, very slight angle to create the first part of the leaf. And then on the opposite side, I'm gonna cut in almost a very, very slight angle as well, almost on the same line. And then just pick out that tiny bit so that you get the vein of the leaf if you like and again I'm just going to do that with the 
bits that come off to the side. So I'm making some simple lines and then I'm going to cut back into those at a V and just pick out that tiny bit that I've cut off just to create the vein of the leaf. So I'm just doing that very quickly so that you can see this one leaf complete. And just take that bit off as well. And you can fiddle around with this as long as you want, really. Um, and then obviously once you've completely done your carving, you can run it under some warm water just to take off any little bits. But there's the leaf. And again, if you wanted another leaf, say here, you would do the same. Maybe another one or two up here as well. And then what I like to do is, you see it's sort of, you know, you can see the edges are quite rough and bumpy. I try to transition that so to take off uh, the excess around and just smooth and flatten that. Now again, you're working with a knife, so be careful. Try not to make too deep a cut all at once because what you'll find is that at some point you'll slip. So you can see that I've smoothed off the transition between leaf and flower and it just sort of helps make it stand out. So that, given another three or four minutes, would end up looking like that. And of course, I did promise you that my 100th challenge I would show you. So this was um, day 100, and there's quite a lot of detail in this. This is actually the school building that I work in, and I actually have an office just here, just behind that window there. Um, and again, quite a lot of detail went into this. You can't, it's not quite picking it up. Um, but again, there's, there's lots of detail. It took me about an hour to do. Uh, and actually there was sufficient detail. I ended up casting this and then able to make wax molds, uh, of this as well. So I was quite pleased. And again, once I got to this point, I thought a hundred days is, is probably sufficient uh, for my challenge and I want to keep enjoying the hobby so uh, let's just keep it casual. So that's what I did. So there's my introduction to soap carving. I hope you found that useful. It's quite a cheap thing to do. Um, again just be careful with your knife not to take too deep a cut so that you're not forcing and then slipping with the knife and, and cutting yourself. But other than that a very safe hobby and, and very enjoyable and rewarding. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe and I will see you again next time. Take care. Bye-bye for now.